a big challenge in Mayhem is the competition that is going on with the NPCs. At first, this is uh, very subtle because you have plenty of those those neutral sectors that you can instantly claim and uh, start to build factories and whatnot. Uh, but eventually, they will be gone, and you're facing the major factions, at least one of them. And you're going to want to to take sectors from them, right? And the problem is that. The major factions are almost always replacing the losses easier than you because they're just spawning their ships in. So when you take a sector, the first thing or, or a high priority thing to do would be to, to close all borders. So if I would take this split sector here, I would also try to to eliminate this one here because whenever an NPC faction has a border with one of your sectors you're an eligible target right so you're going to want to to eliminate these these clusters as fast as possible so we have we have some options to to um, to shield us so so for example these sectors here are the, the Teladi one here and the Boron one here are currently shielding my territory from the Argon fleet. So if they invade, um, I have a I can defend these areas together with my allies, and they will have their own battle groups to defend their sectors, and it makes this much easier. If the NPCs are invading your own territory, then you will have to to deal with stuff like your your trade ships getting blown up and the the uh, factories being endangered and stuff like that um, but to to eventually be able to crack these big clusters open you, these these very big space clusters right you have to to make use of other factions because if i would take a sector in the argon territory i would face immediate retaliation from all these shipyards which are probably around in these areas here and uh, because they prioritize um, targets in proximity the npcs only need a border so they can actually with a shipyard in in, in red light they could launch an invasion into Black Hole Sun, for example, because they also have treasure chest, but they will prefer to to or generally prefer to launch invasions which are nearer to this shipyard location. So it's very dangerous to to just claim sectors, even if you have the the military capability to do so, because you will be whittled down and, and the enemy will will just spawn their ships right so they will they will outperform you in the long run so what was happening right here was the borons going all the way down here and launching invasions and the argons started counter invasions and, and took the sectors and their their kind of, of reconnaissance invasion ended up here and now they're stuck and were cut off but this doesn't mean that they're they are weaker or something because if the argons start an invasion into this sector then any boron battle group can jump in to defend this place wherever they may be stationed so they could be from from blue storm and and just trigger and an defensive operation if the sector gets attacked and with this knowledge, we could use this uh, to to make it very hard for the Argons to to keep their ship production up, because right now they have actually kind of grinded their forces down pretty hard. So if we take a look at the Ministry of War, you can if you have unlocked the shipyard information, you can check all of their shipyards and see how much ships they own so this this displays the amount of, of bigger ships right so so anything from 
the TMs and the M6 Corvettes and up are displayed here. It doesn't include the fighters, so keep that in mind. And now you can just cycle through that and occasionally check how, how strong they are. And I actually figured out that they're right now they're hovering around 10 and some shipyards are very, very low. And other factions like, for example, the, the Terrans are, are, have very strong battle groups. Now they, mostly all of them have 20 or 30 big ships, so it would be very easy for the Terrans to defend their ground there. So very, very, um, very strong presence right now. The Terran thing is that they have a very high invasion cost, so they will generally be more conservative with their forces, and this means their in expansion rate is, is very slow. But if they do uh, expand and invade, they almost always win the invasion struggle. So they will slowly grow, and this makes them a very nice end boss like faction if you want that and but they will be slow and they are also located in a very compacted area and they don't share much borders with the Argans. so this is actually the last sector that the terrans could attack and and the atf don't even have a border with the Argans anymore i think Nope. But what ends up happening is that the ATF uses uh, all eligible targets. They are allied with the Terrans, but they will happily invade the Paranids. But if they run out of invasion targets, they will start to look elsewhere. And then they will come down here, for example, the Boron territory. And what they will do is they, they break the, the truce I forged with, with the, between the Borons and the ATF because they, they want to invade. They, they want to make use of their fleets and, and they will instantly break uh, a treaty if, if need be. And, and also the, the Teladi, for example. So we have borders here and they will fight. But it would be more beneficial for me if they would fight the Argans. So what we can do is install an ATF or a Terran sector here. And if the Argans are trying to take it back, they are facing these enormous and powerful battle groups, right? This would be a really beneficial thing to do because it keeps the Argans in check, it keeps them weak. If they attack, their battle groups will most likely be not at full strength. And this makes it easier to defend and they will actually slowly crumble together. Because the, the Terrans are going to start new invasions because they have new sector connections. And I want to show you a very great way how you, how you could do that. So I'm actually not at the best reputation with the Terran, so I can't launch invasions, so I can't uh, convince them to, to target specific sectors, and even if I could, I could not, I could not uh, select the ones in the Argon cluster because they, they don't share a border, right? So let's just give a new Mandalorians are making some trouble. I have to make some adjustments. So what we are going to do is use our our best allies, the Borons or the New Republic in the Star Wars mod, because I'm at reputation 10. And what this allows you to do is to start invasions. And because we already have a, a sector in the Argon cluster, we can we can launch invasions from there. And I'm going to switch this Dirty Wars modifier to yes. And what this does is it activates full-on pillage mode 
And originally the races are fighting in clean wars, so they won't target stations or civilians. And you can change that. But only if you're at rank 10. So I can say, all right, all other aliens are not worth it and you have to destroy anything that you that you find in their sectors and this makes them compatible with your own uh, with your own method to wage war and we can now select a shipyard which has a very powerful battle group for example the shipyard in Kraken Eta with 23 ships which is more than anything that the Argans have stronger than any Argon battle group and now we can launch an invasion and here you can select all sectors which are valid invasion targets for the Borons so each sector that they share at least one border with and so let's select three worlds which is north of Argon Prime I think and what's end, um, what ends up happening is the shipyard in Kraken is launching its invasion. And let's see if it works. So the border from Kingdom End made it possible. And soon we should be seeing a large fleet popping right in. They still have some vanilla ships in my game because they only get replaced if they are destroyed and <clears throat> no one has managed to destroy these ships so they still use the vanilla designs. And the Borons are now fighting a dirty war, so you can actually check this in the sector list. And go to three worlds and it labels as dirty. Actually all wars of the Borons are labeled as dirty now, so they will go against basically any hostile. And they destroy all stations. And let's Start another one. Now you might consider choosing targets which don't have a shipyard. So the hole is a sector that the Borons held previously when they went down here. And they've built a shipyard there and the Argons took it over. So shipyard sectors are more often than not more heavily guarded because they have their own battle group and you often face another battle group which comes from the outside so the defenders are very strong so if you can help it you should maybe but these are all core sectors this means they all have shipyards so it's basically irrelevant <clears throat> so let's just choose the whole let's see if we can find another strong Boron battle group which is able to take it. So let's see. One is already invading. So we have the battle group from Great Trench. So let's choose this one and go for the hole. And they are now invading. And they're coming in. Ha! 
having some pretty decent Star Wars ships, cap ships. So they should be able to take it. And in a dirty war, they will actually destroy the shipyard. So they won't take it over. They will completely wreck everything. And the trick is to let them do their thing, but still keep your eye on the on the sector they are currently invading. And just before they take it over, you can pay them. Or actually, if you're at rank 10, it costs you nothing to disengage. So you can pull them back and then you can jump your fleet in, clean up the rest of the stations and give the sector to another race. And then they will expand from there. Only two stations left in three worlds. My fleet is already present. And I'm going to pull the Boron invasion back. Let's see. So you hit disengage from sector and then three worlds. And then they should jump their forces out. And in the sector list you can check that the Boron invasion is relieved. So now clearing out the last station would make or would give us the possibility to claim the sector. And if you're at rank 7 with any race, you can grow their empire. And you can add the territory to them. And this is exactly what we want to do with the Terrans. So Borons are leaving. Oh, the sector is empty. And we can claim for the ATF. Now the Argons are not beaten right now. They still have pretty powerful base because the amount of shipyards will always reach a, a set maximum again. The default is, is 12 when you have reached threat level 12 at least. And this means if they lose shipyards, they're going to rebuild them somewhere else. So their, their overall fighting capability won't go down too drastically. So this is probably not going to snowball out of control for them anytime soon. But since they are at war with almost every other faction in the universe, they are going to have a tough time to, to reach strong battle group strength again because most of their battle groups will be pulled into various kinds of defensive battles and maybe also offensive ones but they're not going to have the time to to rebuild their forces up to full strength and this basically halts any of their of their progress and they're they're easier to handle overall so this also helps me in the in the area down here, for example, where they have just taken the Teladi sector back. To be honest, I kind of hoped this would happen because now I can and now I can take it because it's very rich in in various asteroids, and so I didn't bother to to defend them. But this will make it very easy to to or easier to to claim these sectors because the Argons are now very busy with the with the ATF and the Terrans. 
And now whenever an Argon invasion is launching in any of these sectors, they will have the have to deal with the whole might of the fleet of that specific faction. 